Hey guys, so nine days till Christmas. Um, today we're gonna do get strong like Wonder Woman. So get some nice muscles. We'll do arms, um, legs, abs, a little bit of everything. So let's do it. So we're gonna start standing just at the top of your mat. Just find your two feet here. Use a big inhale to reach your arms up over your head. And as you exhale, just fold over your legs, soften your knees, relax your head and neck. And press into your fingertips, looking forward here, just a nice flat back. And as you exhale, just fold up your legs a little bit more. And go ahead and take your right foot back, come to your low lunge. During your low lunge, ease your back knee down to the ground. Reach your fingertips up high, maybe you hook your thumbs at the top, just sinking your hips forward and down and lean back in your spine. As you exhale, release your hands down and bring your foot, tuck your back toes. And use a big inhale to lift your hips all the way up, lengthen up your legs, and just fold over that front thigh here. And press them down into your palms, soften your front knee. Step your left foot back to meet your right for your down dog. During your down dog, tuck your chin in toward your chest, start to round high into your plank pose. And knees up or down, we're going to lower here three times, so just lower halfway down, and all the way up, elbows towards the rib cage, halfway down, and all the way up one more, halfway down, and all the way up and back to your down dog. Your down dog, inhale your right leg up behind you, and exhale to swing it through for your low lunge. Relax your back knee down to the ground, sink your hips forward and down, reach your fingertips high, maybe hook your thumbs, and just lean back in your spine. And exhale to release your hands down, tuck your back toes under, and begin how to lift your hips all the way up, lengthen up your legs, relax your head and neck, fold. Soften in your front knee, step your left foot up to meet your right, and just melt over your legs here. Chair pose to bend your knees, sink your hips, big inhale, lift high into your chair. And as you exhale, just fold right back over your legs. Pressing down into your feet, using an inhale to reach your arms up over your head, lengthen out. And an exhale to fold right back over here. Press into your fingertips, looking forward. And go ahead and release and fold. Step in your left foot back this time, coming back to that low lunge. Relax your back knee down to the ground, untuck your toes, sink your hips forward and down, reach your fingertips high. Exhale, release your hands down, tuck your back toes, and how to lift up your hips, lengthen up your legs, and fold. Soften in your front knee, plant your palms, step your right foot back to meet your left, down dog. Tuck your chin in towards your chest, lower and lift here three times, lower halfway down, and all the way up, and halfway down, and all the way up, last one, halfway down, and all the way up and back to your down dog. Inhale your left leg up behind you here, and exhale to swing it through for your low lunge. Back knee finds the ground, untuck your toes, reach your fingertips high, lean back, open up. Exhale your hands down to frame your foot, tuck your back toes, hips lift, legs lengthen and fold. Front knee softens, right foot steps up to meet the left and just melt over your legs. Chair pose again, bend your knees, sink your hips, we can huddle lift high into your chair. And as you exhale, just melt right over those legs. So that whole thing one more time each side. So reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling, lengthen out here. And as you exhale, fold over your legs. Press into your fingertips, looking forward. And plant your palms, step your right foot back. Release your back knee down to the ground, fingertips high, hips sink forward. Exhale, fingertips find the ground, tuck your back toes. Hips rise, legs lengthen. Exhale to soften your front knee, step your left foot back to meet your right, down dog. Tuck your chin in towards your chest, round high into your plank. Lower and lift three times, lower halfway down. And all the way up, it's fun, halfway down. <laughs> and all the way up, last one, halfway down. And all the way up and back to your down dog. Inhale the right leg up behind you, down dog splits. Exhale, swing through, low lunge. Back knee finds the ground, untuck the toes, fingertips reach high, just open up. Exhale your fingertips down, tuck your back toes, rise your hips, lengthen your legs and fold. Front knee softens, left foot steps up to meet the right, fold over your legs. Chair pose, bend your knees, sink your hips, inhale to lift up. Exhale to dive it down, fold. Inhale to reach up your arms over your head, just get some length here. And exhale to melt over your legs. Press into your fingertips, look forward, and step your left foot back. Low lunge, back knee finds the ground, untuck the toes, fingertips to reach high, open up. Exhale, hands down, tuck toes, hips lift, legs lengthen. And exhale then, soften that front knee, step your right foot back, down, down. 
Tuck your chin in towards your chest, round high into your plank pose. Three more times, lower halfway down. And all the way up, you can always drop your knees halfway down. All the way up, last one, halfway down. And all the way up and back to your down dog. Inhale your left leg up behind you, bend the knee, open up the hip if you want. <laughs> Exhale, swing it through, low lunge. Back knee finds the ground, fingertips rise. And just open up here. Exhale, hands down, tuck your back toes, reach your hips high, lengthen your legs and fold. Front knee softens, right foot steps up to meet the left, and melt over your legs. Bend your knees a whole lot on this last one. Go ahead and grab opposite elbows and just relax. Release your hands out, bend your knees, sink your hips big and head a lift high into your chair pose. And this time as you fold over, just interlace your hands behind you. Maybe you want to bend one knee and bend the other knee, just shake your hips a little side to side. Then release your hands down, press into your fingertips looking forward, and plant your palms, step back to your plank pose. Once you're in your plank pose, just ease your knees down to the ground, open your chest towards the front of the room. You can even sway a little side to side in the hips, that can be rocking all the way onto one side, and then rocking all the way onto the other side. Maybe your hand even lifts off the ground. Once you find your back, Back and center here, just press into your palms, roll your shoulder blades down your back, big inhale to open up your chest, maybe even look up. As you exhale, tuck your toes, use a huge inhale to lift your hips all the way back to your down dog. During your down dog, inhale your right leg up behind you, you can bend the knee, open up the hip this time, and as you exhale, step through for your low lunge. So triangle pose from here, so left fingertips stay, or right fingertips stay on the ground, back heel spins down, legs lengthen, reach that left arm nice and high, you can lean back a little bit, and start to reach this top arm towards the back of the room, press into your feet, reach everything high over your legs, as you exhale, turn your toes out, bend your knees, sink your hips, come into your squat pose. Once you're in your squat pose, inhale to lift up a bit, and exhale to sink down. So nine more of those, inhale lift, exhale sink, for eight, and sink for seven and sink just stay with your breath six relax your shoulders five you're halfway there <laughs> sink for four and sink last three and down last two and down last one and down and hold go ahead and take your hands behind your head make a nice pillow that you could just lean back into a little bit here maybe you rock your hips side to side and we'll just do some sumo wrestlers. So your right elbow finds your right knee. Inhale to lift back up through center. Left elbow to left knee. And center. And right. And center. And left. And center. For six. Up. Seven. Up. <laughs> five. Up. Four. Up. A little bit missed with the counting. Three. Up. Two. Up. One more each side. Over one. <laughs> and over one. Inhale to come back to that squat. Just sink your hips nice and low. Go ahead and lift your heels off the ground. Relax those shoulders. You can rock side to side. That could be staying high. Maybe you want to swing your torso a little bit lower. That might feel nice too. Get a little bit more of a stretch here. And go ahead, release your heels down. Use a big inhale to reach your arms over your head. Lengthen out your legs. And as you exhale, just sink right back into that squat. Two more times. Inhale, reach everything high. Exhale, sink it down. One more, inhale, reach it up high. Exhale, sink it down. This time, just release over your legs. Lengthen out and just fold over. You can bend one knee, bend the other knee. Just let it feel nice on your body here. And a little lunge towards the front of the room, so just turn your toes forward here. Sink your hips a little bit far down. Relax your head and neck. And we're just gonna do some little windmilling action here. So press into your feet. We're gonna come to a low lunge face in the other room face on the other side. So press into your feet using it, how to reach up your arms and just cartwheel over to the other side. So it takes a few times to get used to this, so we're gonna keep it going. So press into your feet, inhale to lift through center, and exhale your low lunge face in the front. A few more times, inhale to center, exhale, sink back. Three more, inhale to center, exhale, sink. Inhale to center, exhale, sink. Last one, inhale to center, and exhale, sink. Go ahead and press into your palms, Step your right foot back to meet your left for your plank pose. Lower and lift here five times. Lower halfway down and all the way up and halfway down and up just for three and up for two and up. And last one and up. Go ahead and lift your hips all the way back to your down dog. 
from your down dog. Inhale your left leg up behind you. You can bend the knee, open up the hip if that's going to feel good over here. And step it through for your low lunge. Triangle both pose. So left fingertips stay on the ground. Back heel spins down. Legs lengthen. Right arm reaches nice and high. You can lean back. Relax your shoulders. And reach this top arm towards the back of the room. Press into your feet. Lift all the way over your legs. As you exhale, turn your heels in. Toes out. Bend your knees. Sink your hips. Come into your squat pose. Inhale to lift just an inch. And exhale to sink it down. So just for nine. And sink. For eight. And sink. For seven. And sink. And six. Just soften your body down. And five. And down. And four. And down. And three. And down. <laughs> last two. And down. Last one. And down. Sit nice and low here. And go ahead and lift onto your toes again. Lift your heels off the ground. And we'll do those sumo wrestlers with our heels up. Take your hands behind your head and tap your elbow to your knee and then switch. So it really plays around with your balance. Switch, keep it going. And just kind of keep trying to press down into the balls of your feet. Okay, just for five and four and three and two. Last one on one side, last one on the other side. Go ahead, release your heels down. And we're just gonna hold here. So I know you're staring at the back of my body, but that just happened. <laughs> so we're just gonna stay here, but don't allow this to be hard. So if you put some movement into your body, it's gonna feel nice. Decide that it's gonna be easy. So we're just gonna hold just for 30 seconds. If you'd like to lift your heels off the ground for this 30 seconds, you can. You're already 10 seconds down. <laughs> Go ahead and just relax. Maybe you just sway to the music. That can always feel good too. You're more than halfway there. So 10 more seconds here. If you'd like to just pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release your heels down. Big inhale to reach everything nice and high. Exhale, sink into your squat. Two more times. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, sink. Last one. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, sink, and then just fold over your legs. Let it go. Relax your head and neck. You can bend one knee, bend the other knee. Just shake out your booty a little bit. And we'll start to turn our toes forward. Coming back to your low lunge face in the front of the room. Sink your hips down a little bit. And we'll do that windmilling action, low lunge to the back of the room. So press into your feet. Big inhale to lift up through center. And switch to your low lunge. Keep it going. Inhale, center. Exhale, sink. Inhale, center. Exhale, sink. And just for three, and two, the last one. Once you're there, just release a little bit. Press into your palms, step your left foot back to meet your right for your plank pose. Lower left to your five more times. Lower halfway down, and up, and down, and up. <laughs> for three, and up, for two, and up. Last one, and up. Lift your hips all the way back to your down dog. Once you're in your down dog, go ahead and tuck your chin in towards your chest. Start to round high into your plank pose. And we'll come to our forearm plank. So lower your left forearm down to the ground and your right forearm. So once you're there, just go ahead and tap your right knee down to the ground and lift it back up. And then left knee and up and right and up and left. Keep it going for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back onto your toes here, knees are lifted, and tap your right hip down to the ground, turn your belly to the left, and tap your left hip down to the ground, turn your belly to the right. Keep it going for eight, and seven, for six, and five, and four, and three, and two, last one. Release your knees down to the ground. Just allow your chest to open up. Just come to a sphinx pose here. You can sway in your chest a little bit. And go ahead and press into your left palm and then press into your right palm. Just open up your chest a little bit more. That could be really up high. If you'd rather soften your elbows a whole lot, you can always go for that. And child's pose from here. So keep your knees on the ground. Just take your hips back to meet your heels. 
Relax your forehead.